So sports injuries are very common. It's one of the most common reasons to go to the doctors. Uh, when I think about sports injuries, what I'm actually saying is uh, orthopedic injuries. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be connected to a sport. When I think about orthopedic injuries in the primary care setting, there are basically three types. There are sports injuries. These things are rolled ankles when you're doing something athletic. They are uh, uh, falls and, 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 and broken type bones. They're injuries. They're acute things uh, that, that, that there's a moment in time where it happened. Then there are overuse type injuries. We see these in a whole spectrum of people. Uh, these range from uh, someone who's a cook in an elementary school and is always lifting hot pans and they get uh, wrist pain and tendonitis. These things can be the young athlete who is a pitcher who is not <clears throat> who is uh, throwing too often and they start to get shoulder pain. And then there are degenerative orthopedic processes that just happen with time. Um, arthritis of the knees, arthritis of the shoulders, arthritis of the hands are very common things. So, well, the majority are non-surgical, up to 90%. Uh, and, so, and so we have basically three modalities that we use to treat them. Uh, there are anti-inflammatory medicines. Uh, usually these are an, anti or an inflammatory process and there's something inflammatory going on that's causing the pain. And uh, we can diminish that, uh, not with sporadic anti-inflammatories, which is the way most people take them, but with continuous anti-inflammatories. Uh, you need a blood level for two to three days before you can get a good anti-inflammatory uh, effect of the medication. And then we continue that on for several weeks. Uh, the second modality is physical therapy. Uh, getting a correct diagnosis and then targeted physical therapy uh, for that injury uh, is very important in the healing process. Uh, physical therapy usually focuses on strengthening muscles, uh, muscles around joints primarily, which are the next line of defense when there's an injury inside of that joint. And then, the la and then lastly, uh, we can get a good anti-inflammatory effect that facilitates the physical therapy by doing some sort of a joint injection uh, or muscle or tendon an injection. Uh, this usually involves steroids, it's kind of the first line. Uh, it puts the anti-inflammatory of the steroid right onto the injured area uh, and it stays there for up to six weeks. It can provide pain relief for even longer than that. Uh, there are also uh, injections with a material called hyaline, which is an artificial joint fluid. Normally, the flu uh, joints are bathed in fluid, uh, synovial fluid, which provides nutrients and lubrication to the joint and keeps the joint healthy. And when there is an inflammatory process in that joint, uh, inflammatory markers go into the area and make that joint fluid unhealthy and we can replace that now with synthetic joint fluid that can provide pain relief in, ma in many in many cases up to a year uh, so, it is, so it's very effective um, and a combination of these three things usually is uh, enough to help people get better the vast majority of the time uh, people can get better from their orthopedic injuries with non-invasive treatment uh, probably 80 or 90 percent of the time After you have a sports or some sort of orthopedic injury, uh, the first place to start is come to your primary care physician. Uh, here in our office, uh, we do that. We uh, generally will take an x-ray. Uh, we will uh, evaluate with a good physical exam uh, and see if we can pinpoint exactly what the injury is. And then, uh, then we proceed with coming up with a plan to treat that. Uh, usually, you don't need to rush to an MRI right away. MRIs are very expensive, uh, and we can save a lot of money uh, by, by uh, avoiding that, coming up with a good plan involving the anti-inflammatories, involving physical therapy for a few weeks. If the pain doesn't then go away, we proceed with an MRI and see if this is a surgical problem. Uh, if it is a surgical problem, we refer you to a surgeon. Uh, if not, we can continue to treat you in a conservative manner. Uh, sometimes, based on our physical exam or the uh, uh, x-rays that we take on the first day, we see, oh, this is a problem that's surgical right away, and then we refer you right away.